In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Trio Max. This is a portable monitor system that you can take anywhere and give you that extra real estate while working on the go. Let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. The version that I'm going to be showing you today is the single monitor, but you can actually hook up a second monitor to have a triple setup. Okay, so let's get this thing out of the box and then I can show you how easy it is to set up. There's a very simple user guide and this will walk you through the process so that you can be set up in just a few minutes. Now, you may need to download some drivers. I did for my Apple Mac, but I'll talk to you about that in a second. This is the actual screen and as you can see, it comes housed in its own case. So follow the step-by-step -step guide. You'll be using these magnets which attach via 3M stickers to the back of your existing monitor, but again, I'll show you that, and then it's connected just via a single cable. If you do have another monitor, you can use this little attachment, and that will then give you the triple setup if you attach the second monitor as well. This is everything that comes in the box, and again, it's very easy and straightforward to set up. So the first thing you need to do is put the magnets against the back of the second monitor, and as you can see, they just line up, and they snap on very, very easily. Then remove the stickers of each one, and now you'll need to then close your laptop. Now, I'm actually using my 13-inch laptop, but this is actually designed for a slightly larger laptop, so do bear that in mind when we open that up. It was only because I've got a brand new MacBook Pro 16-inch and I didn't want to attach the magnets to it, but I wasn't so fussed with this older 13-inch MacBook Air. There you go, so I've pushed those on, and now when I open up, you can see on the background, it does stick out a little bit, but that wouldn't stick out so much for you if you were using the right size screen. But as you can see, that is a nice, easy setup for that second screen. Be careful that if you have got a MacBook Air, for instance, then the weight may make it tip backwards if you're not in the right position. Follow the instructions on the guide and download the appropriate drivers, and within a few moments, you'll be set up and you'll have that second screen. Now, if you're wanting to use your laptop for presentation work, for instance, if you're at a customer's house, then this is something which you can do, and that is literally just push the monitor right back, and everything then that you mirror on your screen potentially could be mirrored to your customer. Rather than, especially in these days of not sitting too close to people, you might not want them right next to you. So this is a really good option either for mirroring exactly what's going on on your screen so that, so that you can show a customer from a distance, or for instance, if you've got children and you're working, you could have Peppa Pig playing on the back screen there and you could carry on with your work and therefore hopefully avoid interruption. So it does have its uses. One thing I would say is it's important to make sure that that wire is just tied up a little bit because otherwise that can get a little bit cumbersome if it's in the way. The company say that you can use this with a games console and the example that they gave was with a Nintendo Switch. Now that's fine but do bear in mind that there is no HDMI port so connecting it to something else like another games console or a Fire Stick is definitely going to be more problematic. Certainly in terms of presentations, having the ability to bend those screens round, definitely I can see the logic and the advantage of that. And if you want to there is also a separate kickstand that if you purchase separately you can have this just standing up as a monitor to the side and in some ways I think I probably prefer that. So for this type of use as you'd expect the screen is just 1080p it's not 4k or anything like that but again that is absolutely fine for the purposes that you would use it for. Certainly I can imagine if you edit on a laptop for instance and you make your own videos then having this as a separate viewer would definitely be an advantage but also the thing that I like is that you don't have to have it powered separately you can literally just use that one cable plugged into your laptop and it will power itself that definitely is an advantage and again something which I can see people using if they're on the go. Now you can make some changes to the quality of the image on the screen that pulls out. There are some on-screen controls that you can select from the menu button on the side and here you can adjust the warmth, the backlight, the brightness, the contrast. Contrast by the way is 1000 to 1. Here there is also an eye care mode as well and again you can just reset it to the factory settings if you so wish. 
So guys, I'll leave the latest links in the description for you so that you can check out the very latest price because these things do fluctuate quite a lot. But as you can see, if you're wanting to keep up to date with the news or a sports event while you're still doing work, well, then this type of setup could well be ideal for you. It's not for everyone, but certainly it serves a purpose and I don't think it's a terrible product and I don't think it's badly priced. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Is this something which you would go for? Again, make sure that you don't take too much inference from the fact that it doesn't quite fit this level laptop it was just that I didn't want to put my 16 inch MacBook Pro but that maybe is something which they ought to think about as well having some type of other connecting device other than those magnets because sticking magnets to the back of your machine with those 3M stickers could potentially cause some damage and again that is something which just might be something which people want to think about but guys I think this product definitely serves a purpose and I do like something which is a little bit different and every now and then I do get to see those so let me know what your thoughts are leave a comment and is this something Something which you can see a use for what type of use would you use this for but anyway guys thanks so much for watching this video and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next one